Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. My well wishes are with you. May you live long, healthy, and safe life. I have been receiving a flood of requests from many of you that you want to know how to extract green bone data from LSEG workspace. So I thought it would be a great idea to prepare a short tutorial to help you navigate through this process. Although this tutorial is not about the definition and description of green bonds, which I may cover in the later videos, I just want to highlight the definition of green bonds before we move into the uh, data extraction related to the green bonds. A green bond is a type of financial instrument that is issued to raise funds for environmental friendly and sustainable projects such as renewable energy, energy efficiency, or clean transportation initiatives. Now let's look at how you can use LSEG workspace to extract the green bond data for your research, for your teaching, or for your assignment, uh, or whatever purpose you want to use this data for. If you go to the search bar and write green bond guide, you will see a green bond guide app Click on it. It will take you to the user interface where you can see all the green bonds issued around the world in different countries over the past few years. On the left hand side, you see various filters which you can apply to get the output in terms of the chart and in terms of the table uh, which is displayed here few quick things about this user interface. You can display the green bond data in different currencies, whichever currency is of your interest. By default, it is US dollar, and you can change the x-axis and y-axis of this chart. Currently, the x-axis is the period over the past few years, and y-axis is the issued amount. So if you want to change the x-axis, you have various options. You can change based on that. And if you want to change the y-axis, you can also do so, okay? And then you can narrow down your search uh, in terms of um, a number of columns in the chart. Currently, it is showing 11 columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. You can reduce it to seven. Let's see what happens. Uh, you can increase it to 17, depending on how, how much data you want to see in the chart. Let's keep it to 11. And you can also stretch it. it. It will change the way the chart looks like. And you can select between the bonds issued in a particular year based on this current chart or you can change it to the bonds outstanding in a particular year. So let's keep it to the bonds issued in a particular year. Now let's look at the filters on the left-hand side. You see the EST bonds and green loans as this tutorial is all about green bonds. We are not going to change this option. And the tick that we see here is the green only. So only green bonds because within ESG bonds, there can be uh, social bonds, they can be sustainability bonds, and green bond is one type of ESG bond. Further filters include the asset status, there are various options here, the currency, you can see currencies are listed, domicile, from which country, you can choose. Uh, let's see if we can choose for, from Australia. Yeah, select Australia. And now you will see this chart will only have Australian uh, green bonds information. Let's say if you want to bring another country here, China, done. Now we see the green bond data of China and Australia. And from this chart, it looked like very clear that China is way advanced in issuing green bonds compared to Australia. Okay, so this was the domicile. So let's bring all the countries back. Uh, we don't want to narrow it down. Then the issue date, 
If you want to see particular date of the issue before or after, we can select that. Then we have a filter of issuer. So if we are interested in any particular issuer, whether uh, that particular issuer has issued a green bond or not, over the past, we may write the name here. For example, uh, Woolworths in Australia. It's coming here. If I click another company, Apple, Apple Inc., and I click Done. Now we see the green bonds issued by Woolworths and by Apple Inc. So this uh, amber color is for the Apple from United States. And this purple is from Australia, uh, issued by Woolworths. Okay, so if you want to see the details, you can also click here and see in 2016, only in US, Apple issued the green bond. 2017, only Apple issued the green bond. 2019, we have Australia and, uh, and United States both, means both Apple and Woolworths issued green bonds. Apple had two issues and Woolworths had only one issue. If you want to see the details, what, what those green bond uh, issues, you can click on Australia. And then you can click on this uh, browse by issue date and domicile. And you see here Woolworths, you can click on it and it will open a new interface where you can read further details. Let's go back and untick this issuer again, bring back all the data around the globe from each country. Then we have the issuer type as a filter. I normally do research on companies and I am not concerned about the green bonds issued by the governments and other, and other types of issuers. I may click on issuer types and select corporates, whereas other options I'm not interested. So I click done, now I see what are the green bonds issued around the globe just by the corporations. However, if you are interested in uh, green bonds issued by the treasury or by the governments in particular country, you can select uh, this option and click done. Now you will see the green bonds issued by the treasury or the governments around the world. Let's go back again. Another filter is maturity. You can select that. Other filters uh, include the sector from which the green bonds are issued. Finally, there is a filter of uh, where the proceed will be used. If I click on it, there are various projects for which the green bonds are issued. Let's say we are interested in green bonds issued for the purpose of using the proceed for alternative energy. So I click on this, click done, and see what's happening around the globe uh, for the issuance of green bonds for alternative energy. Let's say I want to change it to something else, like the Belt and Road Initiative. I want to click on that, click done. Now I see uh, this is happening around the world. Only Singapore is appearing in this uh, particular project. Let's go and pick some other uh, clean transport. Click on it. Now we see there are more green bonds uh, issued for the proceed to be used for uh, clean transport. Okay, so that is it for the filters. Now I want to show how you can extract the data. If you don't apply any filter or you apply any filter, whatever the chart will appear, and under it, the table. To export the data, uh, you can come to the table and you can click on 2024. You see different countries. Let's say if you're interested in the green bond data of 2024 from China, you can click on China. Once the China is selected, then all the issues are coming here. So select all the issues. And then you see here the Excel tab, it's appearing. Click on Excel tab. It will open an Excel sheet. 
in the Excel, the data that you will be able to see is exported in terms of all these columns. It has maturity date, amount outstanding, coupon class, currency, EST bond type, instrument type, ISIN, issue date, issue amount, last price, modifier, principal, RIC, seniority type, TRBC sector, yield, yield date. Okay, so that is the data for 2024. If you want to go for 2023, click on it again, go to China, click on China, select all the issues, click on this Excel tab, the Excel will be downloaded and you can see all the data uh, that is displayed on this screen in front of you. Okay. I'm not going to open an Excel, but you can see all the column that are appearing here in the Excel sheet. So similarly, uh, you can download the data of, of the green bonds from China for each year one by one. If you want to download green bond data for all the countries, one way you can do that is to start from 2007, click on it, any country that is appearing here, click on that. And then select all the issues, click on Excel, download 2007 data, because in 2007, there is only one issue from one country. In 2008, you can now see there are two countries, Germany and United States. So now first you click on Germany, select all the issues in Germany, click on Excel, download, then click on United States, select all the issues, click on Excel icon, you can download all United States. In 2009, again, there are two countries. Then 2010, there are more countries coming. One by one, you can download green bond data from each of these countries. Keep on moving for each year, go to 2023. Now you see as we are moving from 2007 towards 2023, more and more countries have green bond uh, issues. In 2023, there are many countries. And if you want to see, uh, like in terms of the number of issues, you can sort them. Let's go down and see which country is the uh, highest issuer. 356 in China, Sweden 172. And in the least, we see Croatia, Latvia, and some other countries. That is it for this tutorial. I hope I have given you a good starting point to see the availability of the green bond data in LSEC workspace and the download option using the green bond app. Now it's your turn to give it a try and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions I require further guidance. I would be happy to have a look at that. My best wishes are with you for all your research endeavors. I'll see you in my future videos. Till then, take care and have a very good day.